Okay, so when I put the um, tanks together, I made a mistake. Um, I didn't think about it. Um, I always use sphagnum moss for my hydroponics. And it, it holds a lot of water. Uh, it trying to see if, if I can find any of the fishies. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Give it away. Um, the sphagnum moss holds a lot of water, but it also allows air to the roots and allows them to put their roots down in the water. So I knew that this sphagnum moss wasn't sterile the way it's supposed to be because um, I have grown it. I have actually put some in a terrarium and had it grow. So I know it wasn't sterilized. But I used it on the for the hydroponics in this system. I used it for the plants. And this is the result. There is algae growing in all four tanks. Um, not nearly as much in this one, in the, the uh, second highest, second lowest. Um, but everything else, there is algae in all four tanks. So um, I had a choice. I could completely empty the tanks, scrub them all out, and have the algae show up again in a day or a week or a month, because algae is a hazard of this kind of a system. Or I could go and buy algae-eating fish. And that's what I decided to do. I decided to eat, to eat. I decided to eat them. Yes, I decided to buy algae-eating fish. Um, I put the Plex, or it's a it's a type of it's a type of uh, catfish. Um, let's see. Oop, there we go. Okay, in the tallest tank, I put the sucker fish that are the uh, this um, tank cleaners because they just sucker everything off of the outside. And in the next tank down, in the I split the minnows between these two tanks. Um, they have the least algae in them, and they also have a thriving population of mosquito larvae. So hopefully the, uh, the minnows, I, I'm not seeing any right now. I saw one a little while back, but hopefully the minnows will, will take care of that problem. So then we have the final tank. And this is, I've already put the others in the tanks, so um, I just wanted to give you an update on this and we get this one taken care of. This is the mollies. They are an algae-eating fish. They will also eat mosquito larvae, which there are also mosquito larvae in here. So it's completely unknown how long this is going to take it. I, I don't even know if it will work. But I figured it was worth a try. Uh, they have been sitting in the water for about half an hour. So the uh, water temperature should have acclimated. And I'll just dump that on the floor. All right, let's see what they do. Swimming around, it's a good thing. Swimming around and exploring their new house. I hope they're happy. Okay. Well, looking at this tank, I don't see. I do see mosquito larva, but I do not see any fishies. I guess we will come out tomorrow and see if there are any dead fishies. Okay. There they are. Do you see them? Can you see them? I can see them with the, with the bare eye, but they're down deep. They were on the surface a minute ago, which is neat to see them. All right. Give them a little bit of time to adjust, and hopefully they will have plenty to eat and... Take care of my 
algae problem. Talk to you later.